time, baby. Hey! It's the D I B I N I T Y. I call me Miss Rocks. D I B I N I T Y. Somebody say hi. D I B I N I T Y. You want to be I, baby? You can't say hi. D I B I N I T Y. But you can call me Miss Rocks. <laughs> All right, so my name is Divinity Rocks uh, from Atlanta, GA, and I only rock hip hop with my Warwick bass. <laughs> the Warwick thing started a couple of years ago, actually. I was walking through NAM by myself, and I saw this man who I recognized but wasn't quite sure who he was. It ended up being Jonas. <laughs> he um, had his amps stacked on a tiny stage in the hallway at NAMM. And, um, and we had met through Victor Wooten, I believe, some years before, and he asked me if I wanted to try out his amps. And I told him I did, and I tried them out, and I liked them, and, uh, and he asked me if I would be interested in endorsing them, and I said, yeah, man, I would love to. And uh, I guess about a year later, he approached me about um, endorsing Warwick. I was on tour with Beyonce, and I thought it was a great idea to, uh, to endorse the product. I knew about Warwick for years and years and years, um, but I never really played Warwick. And as soon as I picked it up, I knew that it was for me. I mean, you know, it's an incredible company run by incredible people. Hans Peter was always so awesome, and Flo and the kids. And so I thought, why not, you know? <laughs> This bass, I really love this bass. Um, it's um, it's made of ash. I have a maple neck. I love these Divinity Rocks inlays. If you can see, those are little D's for Divinity Rocks. Uh, the gold hardware, the all white, it's so beautiful. Um, the My main baby, actually, I call the Purple Beastly. It has a really beautiful purple finish. So it's the exact same bass uh, with this beautiful purple finish. Um, but for the Beyonce tour, the last tour we did, um, she wanted all white basses. So of course, Warwick, being the incredible company that they are, sent me this baby. Actually, uh, Hans Peter delivered it himself in San Francisco at the Fuss on the Bus, the second Fuss on the Bus. and. Uh, and one of the first people to hold it was Larry Graham. <laughs> so I named the bass Graham. <laughs> Rock's nice. Box Experience! Yes, the Rock's Box Experience has been doing really well. Um, it's been received really well by the fans, man. I'm really excited about it. Um, we are in the process, well, I am in the process right now of recording the next project because you know how it is. After a month, something gets old in this business. So um, I'm working on a new album, and uh, I'm actually getting ready to come back to Belgium, come back to Europe in a month, and tour, do a small club tour in Belgium. We're going to play some of the new songs, and we're going to play some songs from the Roxbox Experience, and we're going to share these cute little earrings with you guys, you know, for all the ladies out there. We have a few new products um, at hand, and uh, and you can keep up with what's going on with Divinity Rocks at Divinity Rocks. Com. Follow me on Twitter, at Divi Rocks. I'm on Facebook. Um, I'm all over the social networking sites. So, you know, stay tuned. The next record should be coming out at the top of 2014. I'm excited about it.